Oh, he's wrecking us. Oh, my God. Dude, I cannot get the ship turned around. There's nothing I can do with this guy. He's too fast. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Hot Atlas action, ladies and gentle peeps. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video you see today, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe as well. A vast G scurvy dogs. The galleon has been created. Big Brenda is a thing, ladies and gentle peeps. Look at her in all her glory. Oh, it's the morning. It's the it's the wee morning hours. We have to turn all these guys off. We have some lanterns on the ship. Blue colored because they're unbelievable and amazing. They give us a super friggin' awesome, eerie look. Takes a second to be able to turn these guys off. We can actually put them on a lever, I think, and do them all at once. Uh, we're going to get to that here in a, in a little bit. But yeah, stuff and things are happening, and it's been unbelievable and amazing. Thank you to everybody in the uh, the Booty Barnacles for helping to make this a reality. She is the most beautiful ship I've ever seen. And I'm going to show you all about what we got going on. Who is it? It's Fingers is here. We took her out for an adventure yesterday to do some stuff and things. Let me go ahead and climb up into the crow's nest here. I wanted to start in the morning so we could kind of get a view of what's going on. I'm trying to see. I wonder if I can get up here and then it's really hard to give you a view of the entire ship. Let me see if I can get up here and then maybe if we... Oh, you know what I think I can do? Actually, this will work. Let's climb down over here and I'll show you the ship. I'm very excited about it and I, ha I think I said it just one second ago. I want to say it again. Thank you so much to everybody in the Booty Barnacles and our Atlas community on the Salvation server for helping to do this. It was really all of our ship. Everybody, uh, you know, did some work here. To help to make it a reality. Look at it. Look at her, man. She's so unbelievable and amazing. I think this is as far as I can zoom out right now. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe like this. There we go. Look at how beautiful she is. Amazing. Big Brenda. We named it BB. Big Brenda. The booty battalion or the booty barnacles. The name of our um the name of our company. And so, oh my God. Look at it, man. That's as far out as we can go. That's the best view that I can give you of the thing. Look how friggin' amazing it is, dude. It's so unbelievable and amazing. So we had an amazing time building it. We took it out yesterday uh, with about 15 or 20 people. We're here in Booty Bay right now. Rip the frames. We've got a lot of ships. The company is getting quite large, in fact. We have 177 members in the company. There's only about 25 people on right now. During the evening hours, things are getting a little bit rough, and I have some public service announcements that I want to tell the company. If you're watching and be talking about tonight on stream at twitch.tv slash slipgator, make sure if you want to check out the streams. We'll be taking the boat out quite a bit. Make sure if you want to check out the streams, you go ahead over to twitch.tv slash slipgator and follow so that you don't miss any of the stuff and things. But yes, this is, uh, this is our ship. It's our galleon, and we have these guys. We went out and killed some ships of the damned, and now we have some crew members. Crew costs one gold coin every 1.7 hours. And we can get them to do things. And they can do things like automatically move the sails, uh, raise and lower and uh, point the sails into the wind for us so that one person behind the wheel can manage the entire ship. And, it, and I haven't really tried it with these guys yet with all the sails being manned. But yeah, these guys are pretty cool, man. You can see there's a little icon above its head right there. I think that's supposed to be a sail. Um, to let us know that it's it, that that guy is doing some sales stuff and things. And also, do you have any XPs? These guys get levels. You can access their inventory. We can pump their levels. I do believe they can be set up to attack. They're basically just like a dino. They can be set up to attack. They can be set to do stuff and things. We can set them to do cannon stuff. I'm just going to start pumping some, some of these guys' health stats up. We want it to be nice and healthy. So they're pretty cool. Let me access this guy's inventory. It looks like they all have names, too. Feared Alex the Mighty. Oh, Feared Alex the Mighty. I think we've got a couple downstairs that are also actually cleaning. So we have three ways, I do believe, that we can get down to the bottom decks here. You can see these are all of our cannons out of our gunship ports or our gun ports. And then down over here, 
We can head down in. We have another row, another deck full of cannons. These guys here, they're just like cleaning the ship. I don't know if they're unassigned or what the deal is. It's my first time using the crew deals. You can also add like armor pieces to them, I guess. So let's do this. 15 levels. All into HP's baby. And let's check out this guy's inventory as well. Do you have leg panties on? Dude, she does have leg panties. How come you have so many leg panties? This is odd. We get the cool music every time. All right, so from here, we head down yet another level. And we're fi We're finding here, this is our storage level and kind of the level that we're having um, our machines on, so to speak, our crafting stations. We have um, uh, the grill right there for making food. We've got a loom. We've got a tannery. We have a smithy. Uh, we have the ship storage right here. The ship storage helps to store uh, all the items that we need to repair the ship. We have the larder box. This is the, or the mess table or the larder box. This is what you use to put your food in that you're going to be using to feed all of your um, your crew members, your AI crew members. And also in the ship resource box, this is where you've got to put your gold coins because those crew members, they charge you gold coins. And so we need the gold coins in order to get the crew paid up and doing their thing. So we have some food storage right over here. And we're learning a lot about the galleon, you guys. We're learning a lot about it. Um, first and foremost, we're learning about weight. So right now we're at 22,376 weight out of 32,000. Now, when you, in arc, you know how it works with your with your regular character. When you start to gain more weight, it doesn't go by your max weight before it starts to slow you down. So for instance, I have 410 weight. I only have to get, if, if I got to 400 weight, I would be really slow. You know, it doesn't work like, it, it's never made much sense to me. I've always thought that after 410 weight, then you would be burdened and then you would be slower. But that's not the way that it works in Ark. It's not the way that it works in Atlas. And it's the same thing for the ship. So we have to be very mindful of the ship's weight. Now, let me see here. Order ship, access stuff and things. We don't have any levels. The Galleon is level 12. Uh, and we have been pumping a little bit of sturdiness because it reduces the ship's sinking rate. Um, it reduces the, the rate of offshore item spoiling, which we don't really care about. And the vitals depletion also isn't that big of a deal. Um, accommodations here on this server, we don't have a lot of... I, I think that we've taken the cooldown timers off. So the two beds we have is plenty. An additional crew, I mean, we have 59 crew. We don't need that many crew. Um, so for right now, we're just, we've are just we just been pumping additional weight uh, and two points into sturdiness for sinking. So we have our dinghies over here. We can go ahead and lower them and raise them. And this thing actually is pretty amazing. Watch this, guys. If we go ahead and release the ship. So it brings us down like so. And then you can go back over here and click uh, return to ship hangar. Zerp, and it pulls us right back up. It's freaking unbelievable and amazing. Let's do it again. It's so much fun. Release the ship. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let's look down here. Return the dinghy. Zerp. It's a little bit weird, but it works. So, um, yeah, those things are what we have going on over here. Did I show you the storage too real quick? We're trying to do maybe some creative storage, and I'm not sure how much I like this. But what I did is I built um, a little depression, a little depressed area over here that goes down into the bo the the bottom of the ship. Uh, and then we put all of our storage inside of there like this. I don't know why we really did that, because look at all the space we have. We're not really saving any space by doing it. But it is a really compact way to put some storage in. So not sure how I feel about it, but for now, I think that's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, ladies and gentle peeps, we have some hot... Whoa. A little, bit of, a little bit of hot lag action. We have some hot streaming action that I want to show you. I'm going to take this guy out, and we're going to go ahead and do that today. But first, before we do that, I do want to show you some stream footage of us taking on some ships of the damned. Um, I tried to get some people together today to do it for just the YouTube videos, but during the day, we don't have a huge player base, and we need to have 16 or 20 people, really, to effectively take on the ships of the damned. So um, we couldn't do it today. So instead, I'm going to show you some stream footage. Now, keep in mind the streaming footage is more a little bit lower quality and sometimes there is some profanity so i think i bleeped it all out though um but yeah check it out peeps this is us annihilating the ships of the damned here we go guys all right guys we're launched of the galleon thanks to everybody for all their support Thanks to everybody in the community for helping to build it. Let's do this. Bam! 
Sam. It's Big Brenda. Big Brenda. All right, you scurvy dogs. Drop the sails. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Make it so. Oh, my God. We're doing it. Oh, there's a ship right in front of us. It's over for you. Oh, Brenda's got a fat ass. Big Brenda's got a fat ass. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that, man. Whoa. That was a close one. He's done it, ladies and gentle peeps. No, it's fine. I'll do all the sales myself. We need we need one person on each one of the sales, guys, and we need all of the uh, cannons open, all of the cannon ports open. We need people ma manning the cannon. So look at it. Big Brenda is launched in all of her glory. Dude, I say we go find a ship of the damned, man. Hard to starboard, you scurvy dogs! Dude, where are the friggin' ships of the dam? The only time you wanna- <gasps> Oh! To the, to the port side, mateys! Port side, man, the port side! Can it- can somebody scope it? Can we take it out? Sales to 50%! Sales to 50%! Make sure people mind. Stay on the sails, peeps. Stay on the sails. We're freaking wrecking his face. Turning hard to port. All right. Uh, we may we may need some speed. Let's kick the sails back up. 100% sails. Let's get six people to stay on those sails so you can uh, keep turning them while I'm turning. This is as hard to port as we can go, boys. Dude, how are you supposed to fight a ship of the dam with a galleon? You can't even friggin' turn it. Get out of K mode? Calm your onion. Settle down, kid. Like, this is all I've got. This is as fast as I can turn her. I'm going to shut the, the gun ports to see if it handles a little bit better. Somebody was saying that might be the case. I don't know if it is. All right. Sales to negative 75, boys. Make it so. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Look at it. I think she's out of range, boys. Oh, there we go. There's some hits. Good job, guys. We can't really put rear cannons on. It doesn't support those. And if you gun ports... Yeah, I was thinking about slowing down, but I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's try it again. Sales to 50%. When we lower the sails, it changed my maneuverability a lot. Oh my god, I didn't even see you! Who is that? Oh, we're so lucky I didn't crush you. 
Tickler. All right, here's what we're going to do. When we get a good angle off the starboard side, we've got to drop all the sails, and then we're going to sit. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, here it comes. Okay, port side, port side. Once we get, once we get to an angle where we're going to be good, let's drop the sails. Oh, he's gonna hit us! Full speed ahead! Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. We're good, we're good. Annihilate his face! Yeah! We did it! Good job, man! Man, the cannons on the port side. Oh, starboard and port side! Man, the cannons on the starboard side, boys. Make sure we keep on the sails, guys. Oh, we're gonna come right up on this guy. All right, drop the sails, drop the sails. Fire a whale! No one's on the damn sails! They're slowing, retracting. All right, now we need full speed. I'm gonna turn to port. Actually, no, no, don't put it back up. Oh, I can't, I can't get an angle on him. Uh, this is not a good idea. I can't get an angle on him. We're going to try to turn to the port side as best we can. Oh, we're taking hits. Now, here it comes. Good job, guys. Get ready. There you go, boys. There we go, man. All right, go out and get the booty. Oh, it's going up. Okay, so you just have to do it once, and if you do it twice, I think it does it faster. Or if you get this, a little faster. I got you. Never going to get it. Got it. Look at this, man. We're repairing. Dude, what do you guys think if we rammed it? <laughs> Where do we want the cooking pot? We need it on the ship. On the bottom most level, Saboa. It would cause collateral damage. Do it, no ball. All right, we're going to try. I'd say lower the sails to zero now. I think he's probably going to turn to his port side. So we can kill the sails, and then he'll come right over this way. Ooh, Maybe. I'm just going to start slowly turning to starboard. He goes so much faster and he's so much more maneuverable than the galleon. Did he not see us? Uh, I guess not. Apparently not. All right. Full speed ahead then, I guess, man. Oh, thanks, Sabo. I didn't even know you were here. Thank you very much for that. Look at the sails all going up. These guys are amazing. So we'll try to do the same thing. Just get a good position on it, and then when we get close and it notices us, we'll just drop all the sails. <laughs> He's running from us. <laughs> He's totally running from us, man. So he's probably going to come on our starboard side. Hit him, big cannons. There you go, big cannons in the front. Oh, all right, here we go. Drop sails, drop sails. Uh, 
I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn back to starboard. I think. Oh, oh, dude, we might be able to actually even build like additional stuff in the front. There's your chance, man. Hit it. Yeah! Woohoo! Is that an alpha? Level 30. Oh, what do you guys think? You want to go for it? We can take it. Let's go, team! Let's do this. Let's do this. Undefeated so far. Let's not give up now. Oh, my God, you guys. I love that I can do this by myself. Okay, okay, okay. Make your shots count, man. Ow! I can't turn fast enough. I'm trying to concentrate on too many things at once. Oh, he's wrecking us! Oh my god! Dude, I cannot get the ship turned around. There's nothing I can do with this guy. He's too fast. Oh, sh the ship is sinking! Raise the sails! We're out! Dude, we're... Dude, we're running. Get the repairs going, boys. We're sinking. We're going down. Oh, there's a leak. Okay, it looks like the sinking has been stopped. Do we go back? I say we do. Oh my God, turning this thing's like trying to turn a mountain. We don't have any more wood. We need more wood. We cannot repair anymore. They're panicking. They're panicking. Oh, Alex Thighfingers was killed by a shark. Man, I can't do them all. Holy Jesus, baby! Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> I told you we should have got more wood. We're, <laughs> <laughs> We're heading back to our home port. And we're back. Hope you liked the footage, ladies and gentle peeps. But now it is time to take her out. I think I can hit X. Oh, wait. We can't X to unanchor? I thought X was unanchor. Raise the anchor. And now, when we go in, if I hold shift. Oh, is our anchor not up yet? Hold on. When our anchor's up. There you can see. I can actually turn the sails by holding shift. And moving the sails back and forth like so. And then all I should have to do in order to get it to go is push forward a little bit. And they'll start to deploy the sails. Oh, there you can see it's happening. Dude, I'm, I'm so friggin' scared right now. Are we moving? There we go. There we go. I don't want to deploy them all the way. We just want to go slow. Now, I have rudder, full starboard rudder right now. And this is all we've got here, peeps. But we're headed out. Isn't it amazing? Dude, I love it so much. Oh, my God. We're taking Big Brenda out alone?
I think maybe we have a couple people on the ship, but not that many. So now, as we're going, I can hit shift, and we can turn the sails like so back into the wind. See what I'm talking about, dude? You can pilot the galleon alone? It's unbelievable and amazing. But I will say, from our... I don't know if you noticed from the video. Um, this girl right here, she is a bit of a problem child. She's quite, quite hard to turn. Oh, dude, I got to zoom all the way out again. She is quite, quite hard to turn. Um, it's really, really hard to maneuver. Um, and so I think we're going to end up getting into a brigantine, too, and seeing how effective those guys are. The, the galleon's amazing, but its inability to maneuver makes it very hard to, util to use. Um, and it's okay. Um, it's perfectly fine, and it's not that it shouldn't be that way, but I feel like maybe a brigantine would be a little bit better. So, all right, we'll turn the sails yet again a little bit more. And we're going to take her out. Now, I'm hoping... Is that as far as we can get for our sails? All right, let's go ahead and put full sails. Let's go, team! Now, if you're wondering about our sail situation, what we have are two large speed sails, one medium speed sail, and two large handling sails, and one large weight sail. So those are the sails that we have on the ship. Um, I don't know if that is a good configuration, and I feel like we're going to end up just putting all speed sails on it. But for now, this is the sales. These are the sales that we've got. I think tonight, when we're doing some streaming, we'll probably change the sales up. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they just use all speed sales. Um, and also, we're trying to figure out really with this vehicle what is the best way to um, to maneuver it. What is the fastest way to turn it? So we have two large cannons on the front for people who are running away. Now that we have frames, oh my God. So we have these guys. Obviously, under the decks, the main decks, we have huge batteries of cannons. Now, but these are only going to fire pretty much straight off the starboard side and off the port side. So hold on. Let's resume. Go back inside of here. Select ammo type. We don't want to redo that. We just want to... Oh, dude. Can I just not... Select ammo type? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. So if we open the gun port, we can go ahead and man the cannon. And these can turn a bit, but not really. You know what I mean? They can't really turn very well. So we needed some gun, some ships on the front and the back, or not, pardon me, some cannons on the front and the back. So that's why back over here, we built a, sl a small platform so that we could get stuff and things going. So the small platform up here houses four more guns, and these are kind of more for rear-facing stuff and things. You can turn these guys almost all the way to the back, and they can kind of get an angle on people that are in those areas that are just odd to hit. So the, you know what I mean, these rear areas behind the ship. Um, I'd like to maybe put a couple more guns right here. Dude, we have a bird. <gasps> Whoa, my God. This is amazing. <gasps> Where did it go? Oh, he's back. Are we going to sail into a bad bad spot? Dude, who? Dude, a freaking blue parrot with a hat. I'm telling you right now. I don't know if you know this. I am team parrot. Free to a good home. What? Slept parrot. Options. Rename. Dude. Uh, Savvy? Savvy? Wait. Dude, an all blue parrot. Pick him up. Hold on, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm definitely team parrot. It's all about the parrot. And he has the pirate hat on as well. Oh my god. I love him so much. Look how amazing he is. Team parrot for life. All right, guys. So, next order of business, we're going to get back onto the wheel here and before we hit the world border we're going to have to make a turn now if you k out in the galleon if you hit backspace twice it'll bring up your hood and what we're going to try to do here is go ahead and make a full turn 180 degrees and just head right back into the port i'm just kind of testing doing this for myself for the first time i've never piloted the galleon uh captained the galleon uh solo before so with everything full rudder to starboard this is all she's got, man. So you can imagine when you're fighting the the ships of the dam, they're very maneuverable. So being able to turn is like ridiculously tough. Let's go ahead and see. Let's try this. If I turn all the sails off, once we're in a full turn like this, I just kind of want to take a look and see. Does this help us to turn any faster? Now, I know it doesn't make any sense that you wouldn't turn faster. Like it doesn't make sense that closing the sails would make you turn faster. But I do just want to go ahead and try and see how this would work. Well, we're getting a little bit of lag from being near Booty Bay. 
but we're definitely not turning any faster. I would say we turn at exactly the same speed regardless of if the sails are up or down. So you would turn, you know what I mean? If you took the sails down, you'd be more stationary. Um, it might help with maneuverability, but I don't think that much. So we're going to bring our sails all the way to the starboard side. That's right, 75 degrees or uh, full 75, positive 75. And then we should be able to continue to make a, a turn even though we don't have wind. And we'll be able to bring her back into base. Now, public service announcements for people who are watching um, from the booty barnacles. You guys, we are the largest co company um, on the Salvation server. We need to be very respectful of other people and respectful of other communities. Now, the C2 region, each one of the regions, if you were not aware, each one um, is a separate server. So when you go into your Atlas map here and you see these nine regions, these are all separate servers. And you can see, look at C2. We just, we're just crushing it, guys. It's amazing. It's awesome. And I'm so glad that we have all these people in our community. It's been so fun playing with everyone. But we're overpopulating the servers. So um, we're per... What I'd like to see happen is we'd like to see more people come down into the C3 islands, these islands here. Now, they are very hard. We want advanced players to move over into these areas. Um, the island that's here, Block Island, is not quite as hard. We do have a small settlement over there. But we could maybe get a couple more people over and around in these areas. These islands are a lot harder. There are fire elementals. There's kind of some bad ombres. So if it's super dangerous, I can understand if you don't want to go there. Um, we're also setting up a new community up in B1, the Bitter Barnacles, the Bleak Barnacles. Uh, and this is up in the cold region. So B1 is probably the least populated region. And I think that if you're a newer player and you're in the Booty Barnacles, you should really think about moving up into that area. I know that I am. Um, and so we want to spread the population out a little bit, guys. We definitely have a presence on C2. Uh, and it's great that we have all those people there. And we are having a really good time doing stuff and things. But we really need to be aware that we're taxing um, the server resources. And, and really what it ends up being, I've talked a lot with Mousy about it. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you've seen that. I've talked about having issues with frames and stuff like that. And the interesting thing that we're seeing is that, like, for instance, when I'm in Booty Bay and my computer is getting lower frames, uh, I can check my computer resources. I can see and monitor what's going on. My GPU sits at about 30%. My CPU sits at about 30%. Um, so it, it isn't my computer that's doing it. I've also talked to Mousy, who works for or owns, pardon me, Logic Servers, who runs the servers. He does all of our server hosting as well. And he's seeing that the server resources aren't pinned either. So it really, I think at the end of the day, ends up being a game optimization issue. Um, and so the best way that we can combat that is to just understand that the resources are limited. We can't fit everybody into a singular area, which is really too bad. I wanted to build a big city. I wanted to hang out with the whole community in one place, but I do believe that we need to spread out. The community can still be in one place on the uh, fan sub discord, and we can all hang out there and talk to each other and do stuff and things. And it's unbelievable and amazing. So, all right. Let's come back in over here. We want to go ahead. That's that. Slash end rant. The public service announcements are over. So, let's go ahead and try to come back into Booty Bay. I'd like to maybe... Is that as far as we can go? Come to the port a little bit here. And then we'll, we're will we going to try to lower sails about 50%. Make a hard starboard turn. Um, and come back into the bay. Let's see if we can make this happen. Hard to starboard, man. Dropping the sails down. And as soon as we see the anchor icon, I think we'll actually we'll try to turn a little bit more. Look at our sails being clicky. We'll try to turn a little bit more in here, but you can see we have this, the anchor icon on the right side of the screen there. And as soon as we can, dude, rip the frames. Big Bertha is taking up all the, all the resources, man. X. He's done it. We've landed the ship. Oh, my God, you guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me for another episode of Atlas. I'm really glad that you guys are liking it. Make sure if you want to see more, please don't forget. Show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff of things be with you.